Has Mars retained traces of its past? The scientists hope so. The mission begins. The teams from the French National Space Agency, or CNES, and NASA are adjusting to Martian time. The days there are longer than on Earth. Each Martian day known as a Sol lasts around 24 hours and 40 minutes, so the clocks have to be synchronized. The mission has started. We have a reference period of three years. If the rover fails before that, then we have also failed. Another thorough check to make sure all the instruments on board are working. Our rover has an autonav system, so it can self-drive on the surface of Mars. Driving on Mars isn't that easy, right? We don't have a map, we don't have a phone that we can just say, hey, send me in that direction. So what the rover does is it takes pictures in front of it. It actually looks five meters ahead. And so that way it can actually drive from two to 300 meters a day um, on, autonomously. So it will drive itself. We can say, hey, at the end of the day, just drive in that direction for an hour and a half and we'll see you tomorrow. And it will do that. There is a time delay in communicating with Perseverance. Although the signals travel at the speed of light, it takes them a number of minutes to reach the rover. A command from Control Center. Then millions of kilometers away, Perseverance starts moving. At night, the rover remains stationary. It transmits the information collected during the day to Earth and receives a program with tasks to complete the next day. Each point is assigned coordinates, so when we tell the rover to target a point, it knows exactly how to turn its head to fix on the point we want. Then it sets five points in that direction with the laser, with infrared and the camera. First, we ran extensive tests for three to four months. We made sure the arm was working properly, if the wheels were okay, if the head turned correctly. Then we checked if Supercam could fire its laser twice, then the green laser, then toward the sun. And not at the sun, but at the sky. We learned how to use our instrument. SuperCam even captured a Martian solar eclipse for the first time, produced by the moon Phobos. Finally, operations could begin. The first job was to study the Martian soil. The rover landed on Yezero Crater, a huge depression created by a meteorite. NASA chose it from hundreds of other locations because it was the most likely place to find fossilized traces of past life. We chose the Yezero site because it's a very old impact crater with traces of a delta. We have proof that a river once flowed into a lake there, because to have a delta, you need a river and a lake. The crater is about 45 kilometers wide, with a lake several hundred meters deep, enclosed by a delta. The lake held about 5 cubic kilometers of water and a layer of sedimentary deposit 70 meters thick. The idea 
c'est la Above diversité. All, we wanted diversity. Rocks from the bottom of the lake, from around the sides and from the delta. So we chose a site with all this diversity in a concentrated area. Perseverance at work. The rover's cameras have already shown that the area consists of very different geological layers. One day, the camera person pointed out a hill in the distance, and we said, let's take a photo and use it as a reference point. When we saw the incoming data, we said, that's fantastic, we're at the bottom of a lake. So we had our first results. The photos were revealing. But virtual exploration of the crater provides limited insights. So the rover made its way to the delta. For its own safety, it moved extremely slowly. In 200 days, we moved about two and a half kilometers, so only a dozen or so meters each day. Enough to work at leisure, but not enough to explore the huge Yezero crater quickly. A little more speed was needed. Ingenuity, a small helicopter, was brought along precisely for such tasks. Ingenuity is, the, is a technology demonstrator. There's three challenges to, to proving that your helicopter can function on Mars, right? Atmosphere is one of them. Um, the atmosphere of Mars is 1% the density of Earth's. So a very, very thin atmosphere. The other two aspects, though, is the temperature. It gets very cold, negative 90 degrees Celsius overnight. The third aspect that's different from Earth is the gravity. It's about one-third the gravity of Earth. Uh, the way we test that here at JPL is we have a chamber about five, six stories tall. And in that chamber, we were able to balance the atmosphere, the environment, the temperature, uh, and the gravity of Mars here on Earth. Ingenuity weighs just under two kilograms. Its two counter-rotating rotors turn ten times faster than those of a conventional helicopter on Earth. For me, one of the most difficult moments on Mars is the day that we dropped the helicopter from the belly of the rover where it was attached down to the surface of Mars. I was in charge of those activities and it was, I can tell you, incredibly stressful to make sure that our little friend was on Mars carefully.